tractors from his collection down at Olsley. You'll see that it's a, a 158F. Well, the F gives you the clue that it's an orchard tractor, F for fruit, built in France. Looks like a 135, but you'll notice it's very narrow. Um, that's because it was designed for use in orchards, going up and down between the trees. Um, it actually came to this country brand new from France. It's a, it's a mix and match of, of parts. It's got a 65 engine out of um, an earlier Massey 65, but you'll see even the arms on the back are cranked so that it was a very narrow tractor and also a very rare tractor for this country. Nick Harding from Wall Street, Northwest Devon, Anthony Rook from the North of England, Graham Braun from Hulls in the area, and Grant Lundy from Scotland on stand six. Little to choose between these shears at the moment. I just thought that Anthony Rook might have been the first one down on the long blows. But so little between them at this early stage with ten sheep to be shorn in total. And what they need to do is shear them cleanly enough and quickly enough to qualify for a place in the final. Then they all start with a clean sheet and let the battle commence yet again. Over 20 sheep in that final later this afternoon. Anthony's sheep just didn't hold, cooperate down over the final side and that is going to allow several shearers all finishing off close together. Nick Hardin's just in ahead as he goes on the catch. And closely followed by Ed Goodfellow second, Anthony Rook third and Graham Broome, Grant Lundy and Johnny Roberts there now. So it's all to share for, and Nick's on to a good start with lovely blows there on the hind leg for Nick, and he's up the neck now. Who's going to follow him? It's Nick Harding from Wall Street. He's in the lead. Close.